Let's just have a take a look. The woodlands and the rivers are calling out to me. It's the country <laughs> that I live for, the place I long to be. <laughs> Come with us, we'll take you on adventures by the score. We're the sportsmen <laughs> of Newfoundland <laughs> and Labrador. behind me we're staying at probably one of the most spectacular if not the best lodge in all of Newfoundland and Labrador. It's owned by Atlantic Rivers Outfitting which is owned by our friend Chris Rubisky. And Joe what do you think of the lodge? The lodge is absolutely unreal. Uh, walk inside see the rooms the decor the quality of the materials in there it is, it is second to none. I don't think we'd ever find a place. You got to bear in mind we are in the wilderness we're in the wilds way up North in, in, a, in a nice ways from the ocean, and you got something like this. Now, the other thing that's so great about this place as well is that the lodge is on one of the best pools in the river. Out here in front, you come down these steps, and bang, you're in a, a location that contains lots of salmon, upwards of 20 to 25 pounds. I could see me fishing in my robe this week. <laughs> well, that might happen too. So sit back and relax, folks. I hope you enjoy today's salmon fishing show right here on the St. Louis River in Labrador.
got to get the nice sweep. He likes to sweep. When the, when the fly was going faster, that's when he came up. There it is. Yeah. He's a heavy fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish. It's a heavy fish. Yeah, I've seen him take it. Gee. Nice, nice fish. Beauty. I'm here with my good friend Thomas Ogren, all the way from Sweden. Now, Thomas is the chief designer for Loop Tackle Company. Yeah. Now, you're responsible for these beautiful reels, yeah. you're responsible for the new rods. And I've been using them the past year, and I've got to say they are absolutely fantastic. Tell me some of the things that you're doing with uh, new rods. I know you're always trying out new, new prototypes. Yeah, yeah. What, what we're doing now is the new EvoTech series called EvoTech Cast. And we have two of them right here. Uh, we are presenting uh, three different actions. So you can find action, action that always fits the situation or the angle. But I've got to ask you one question because I know it was a little bit different for me using one of your rods originally. The way you load it up yeah. is not like your traditional rod, right? No. Our rods are usually a little bit deeper than other rods, but they still have the power. Because you can make a rod as deep or as tippy as you want as long as you add the power in the rod. So you can make them in all kinds of different actions, depending on, like I said, situations and what type of angler you are. You will always find a rod that, that suits you. Always. Well. Yeah. I found a lot of them that suits me. Yeah, I great. really, really love <laughs> Listen, there's a 20-odd pounder corpus in there. I think we should. I'll let you get that one, seeing you're not from this country. <laughs> OK, thank you. We're into a nice one here this morning, folks, on the St. Louis River. It's our first full day here. We were here this yesterday morning, flew in by a helicopter, and fishing was OK yesterday. We got a couple of nice ones, but we weren't filming. And anyway, we're here this morning. and. A 20 pounder was caught this morning, at least 20 pounds. Absolutely huge fish in this river. And this one is not too bad itself. I'm fishing with a loop six weight rod today, guys. Six weight. Not many people fish with six weight for salmon, but I'm telling you, it is a fantastic rod choice. I'm gonna horse this guy in now. Try not to tucker him out too long. Okay, here he comes. There you go. Thank you, sir. The Tangle Thomas. That's where I was telling the weight the fish was, right there. Hey, Ray, in that window right there. Whoa! I think it's a smaller fish, but. Oh! Yeah, that was only a small one. What do you do, folks? What do you do? Oh, right, great action down to St. Right. Louis. What's that? One cast in the sky. One cast. One jump. Blue bomber, that one goes out to Dan Locke who uh, introduced us to the Blue Bomber up on Flowers was two, three years ago, I guess it was. Fantastic fly. This is the second fish I've rose now in the last half hour or so on the blue, uh, on the Smurf, it's called, so. Oh. Bill Hart, you skate your bomber, do you, Chris? Yeah. Just put a little bit of action on it. Yeah? Yeah.
It might look a rat erratic, Joe, but I'm just shooting for the windows. Yeah. Yeah. Wherever I see a clear window, that's where I'll shoot. Yeah. Uh, folks, I'm here with my little friend, Nicola Robiski. Nicola is the daughter of the owner of this beautiful lass that we're staying in for the next few days. Do you like it up here? Yes, very much. And what about the fishing? I know that uh, your dad told me you've spent some time on the river catching a few salmon. Do you enjoy that part of it? Um, I love fishing here and whenever I catch a salmon, um, it's just a joy. It's just a joy. I bet you've caught some big ones over the years too, have you? Yes. And did you find it hard to play them out before you got them in the shore? A little. Yeah, pretty strong, aren't they? Yeah. And like, you got even you even have a your own fishing shirt. Yes. Wow. Do you like spending your summers here? Uh I love spending my summers here. Yes I do. You know how to cast the fly line, right? Definitely. <laughs> you no, know, isn't that cute? I mean, every man should have a little gorgeous eight year old like that. We're gonna have some fun, and I hope you catch one way bigger than Joey. Joey got one bigger than me so far. Mm -mm. Not and nice. Yeah, but what kind of flies do you like using? The big old bombers or wet flies? Um, bombers, because if you use a wet fly, you don't even catch one fish here. It's. Is that right? Yeah. Wow, well, I've been doing it all wrong. Anyway, you and I go for a fix now, Shorty. Wait right after Dad hooks one. Okay. Nice one. Yeah. See if we can get her before she even knows she's hooked. Okay. <coughs> okay, she got that out herself. Folks, I'm here with Curtis Pennell. Curtis is an employee of Federal DFO. Now, Curtis, you and your partner have been here for a while, and you're going to be here for a few more days yet, doing a tagging program. Can you tell me? A bit of what that's all about and what the uh, end result's going to be. So Dwight, what we're trying to do, we're tagging some fish here at the Lewis River with some radio transmitters. And what we're going to do is we're going to see where the fish are going in the river, how long it takes them to get up over the various falls, what their habitat, what, where they're spawning, what habitat they're going to. And normally what we'll do, we'll track these fish with the helicopter every month to see their progress upstream. Yeah. We'll track them over the winter. And uh, these tags are good for two years, so we'll know when they're coming out in the spring. And if the same fish come back again next year, we'll be lucky enough that we'll, uh, we'll get another year's data from the same tag. So you can get a lot of data off of this tagging program. I guess the long-term ambition is to see if they're getting further upstream and uh, support more spawning. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We also got uh, a bunch of five receivers on this river at very strategic locations. And uh, as the fish pass by these automated receivers, it reports the fish code number and the time that the fish passes by. So by this program, you hope to do maybe some, some uh, things up above with some of the falls that might assist them in getting further? Yeah, I think that's something Chris has in the works. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad to see that there's uh, a lot of data being collected, and I'm glad to see that hopefully this, the salmon are going to benefit from, from it. Thanks very much, buddy. So I said, I'm gonna put on a bomber. Chris Verbisky had a blast here this morning with that. And uh, this is the third fish I've rose on it. And it's a nice one. 
Let's see if we can get this one. <laughs> he saw you. Yeah, you freaked him out, Thomas. <laughs> oh my God, it's Swedish guy. <laughs> yeah. Thomas is from Loop. He's the rod and reel designer. And folks, I got a six weight rod. And, oh, a six weight rod. Now you wouldn't think a six weight rod could handle a salmon, but what we've learned over the last couple of seasons here fishing with Loop is that you can easily land some of these salmon on a six weight. So this eight weight rod uh, idea that most people have and everywhere you go you hear people talking about oh you got to buy an eight weight for salmon but to be honest with you I was a uh, believer of that myself but over the last two seasons I've quickly come to learn that you can easily land these fish on a six weight. Gone. Tried to horse him. Oh well. Got my fly anyway. <laughs> Got him. Oh! Doesn't he doesn't know he's hooked yet. No. He doesn't know Figured it out. Acrobat, eh? Yeah. Wow. What a take. Oh, no. Do you know how many fish that is today that we've lost like that? Gotta go. Have we even got a fish to the shore today? <laughs> that's at least, that's four for me today, yeah. losing like that. You've lost a couple. Yeah. Chris lost. Uh, Chris lost a couple. <laughs> oh, there he is! Oh! oh my! <laughs> there he was. <laughs> there he was. That was big. Woo, that was my. big. That was the big one. Wow! <laughs> wow! So close. You didn't hook it though, right? I might hook the fly. He he took the fly, but he might come back. He might come back. <laughs> that was the big one. Oh, he missed it. He's there. Oh. Yeah. 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 Big fish, Thomas. Way to go, buddy. That's a big one, buddy. That's a good one. That is a good one. His head is huge. Oh, yeah. This is a big one, I think. It's big. That's a big one. It's big. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish. And no jumps yet. Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have on the end of your line? Something big. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, buddy. That is that is a big fish. No jumps yet. I think this is your first fish. Fish is it not? Yeah, it is. The first fish I hooked. On the dry. On the dry. On the bumper. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, you should be good there now. Nice fish. I'd say that's in the high teens. Yeah. I'd 
get that net in the water. It's not very cooperative. Oh, that's a nice fish, oh, Thomas. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a nice fish. Back him in. Net in the water. Oh, fly just came out of his mouth as he netted him. That a boy. Well, that took some perseverance, but uh, Thomas, you got to be happy with that one. Uh, I'm happy with this one. Look at the smile on that guy's face, eh? We can take some more pictures down there, all right? Yeah. Put it there. There you go. Thank you. Put it there. Thank you. Very. Thank you. Great fish. Great yeah. fish, Thomas. Nice. Yes. So, <laughs> yes. help us understand. Yeah. Six weight rod. Six weight rod. Yeah. Newfoundlanders in general would always go for an eight weight rod for salmon. So, no. What's your take on a six weight rod? Uh, it's. I, I mean, you, you don't need an eight weight or nine weight for, to land the salmon. You can land a 22 pound salmon with this rod. Absolutely no problem. Fast action, 690, all it takes. Is that one? Same <laughs> one. He ain't the fly. So he wants it. God. God. No, no. <laughs> ten pounds. Eight ten pounds. Only eight pounds. Okay, he's ready. One for seven. That skitter in the fly line really works, doesn't it? It does. I can believe it. It really agitates them, right? Gets oh. them up. Yeah. All the yeah they're seeing the same it. thing mm -hmm. over and over, right? Same flying speed. Yeah. You just speed it up a little bit, stall it, speed it up, stall it. What yeah. do you do? Do you flick your line or your rod? Oh, just like that. Yeah. Works like a charm. It does. What do I have? Eight, ten rises here? Oh, yeah. Last... I have every bit of that. Yeah. We've been here now for a while and then we were getting a few rises, but not like you. I mean, it seemed like. Everywhere you were putting your hook. Yeah. And if you can get the glass, if you can get that yeah. bomber into the glass. That's a nice part, isn't it? It is. And as soon as they got a full view of that and it's, it's doing this on the surface. Nice fish. Ooh. Wow. Ha, ha, ha.